Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, here's an example of how to calculate frequency if you are given wavelength. Um, for I'm gonna do an example with radio waves, but you're gonna use this for all of the waves on the electromagnetic spectrum. This equation also holds true for any visible light wave. So any color of light that we can see, this equation would also work. C is the speed of light in air which we approximate to be the same as the speed of light in a vacuum where all of the air is sucked out. And that speed, which we've talked about before, is three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So that would expand to 300 uh, million meters in one second. So we're gonna use this triangle um, where C equals wavelength times frequency. Wavelength and frequency should be familiar variables for you and this for radio waves, they can have a range of wavelengths, um, and the frequency of wavelength of uh, radio waves is determines the radio station actually. So, um, could be quite a range. So, one value that I'm just going to use for this problem, um, an example wavelength that could fit within this range would be one kilometer. Um, so pretty long wavelength and let's convert that to meters so one kilometer is a thousand meters okay uh, my unknown information I'm trying to solve for uh, frequency so that's my unknown and my equation is going to be frequency using the triangle if I cover up frequency, this is what I'm trying to solve for, I'm left with uh, C over wavelength. Okay, and now I get to my substitute step. And let's see, so frequency equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second over 1,000 meters. So when I um, divide these out, my units of meters are going to cancel, and I'm gonna be left with uh, waves per second, or something per second. In this case, uh, waves per second would make sense, or I could write this as hertz. Hertz is the same thing as waves per second. Um, so if you see like 105.1 megahertz on the radio station in your car or in your parents' car, um, 105.1 is the country music station, which I love. Um, 105.1 is telling you the frequency of the radio waves. So that would be 105.1 times 10 to the sixth hertz. So many, many waves per second. So, um, I'm going to also talk about how to type this in your calculator, um, but if you divide out 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 1,000, again, I'll show make a different video on how to type this in. For my calculator, if I rotate my phone sideways, I would write in, um, I'll write this in 3, the button on my calculator looks like this, 8. Okay, EE stands for exponent, so instead of typing in times 10 to the 8th, 3 EE8 would give me that value, divided by 1,000. So let me type this in, 3 EE8 divided by 1, 2, 3, gives me 300,000 hertz for my frequency of radio waves. I could also write this in scientific notation, which you might see in your research, um, which would be three times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five hertz. Okay, so either answer would be acceptable. Um, usually you'll see scientific notation more frequently. And this is what, this is the process you're going through for all of the problems on that chart. Please email me with any questions. Hope this is helpful.